Welcome to the prayer for church growth. This is simply a prayer I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as I pray, and together we will seek our Heavenly Father. Please continue to meditate on this prayer for yourself. You can speak it daily or listen to this over and over again, and allow the Word of God to reach deep into your spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. Where two or more are gathered, there you'll be in the midst of us, and anything we agree upon is touching, you will surely do. The Bible says if there's any unforgiveness, that it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, we release any anger, bad feelings, resentment, or any other wrong attitude before you now. We lay it at your feet, and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. Father, in Jesus' name, there's no distance in the Spirit, and we thank you for the listener who desires a prayer for church growth. Praise your name for the church, the body of Christ. Glory to your name for the church. Thank you for all those who gather in the name of Jesus. Praise you that it is you who brings increase to a church body. We come before you rejoicing, for this is a day that you have made, and we choose to be glad in it. Praise your name. We lift up the group of believers that is on the heart of the listener. They have a church that they desire increase for. We make this prayer, Father, for them with joy and delight. We thank you, Father, for fellowship in this church. As you instruct in your word, we ask you for wisdom regarding church growth for this church. We ask you to reveal to those in leadership the means in which to increase. We know that promotion and increase comes from you. We look to you. That's why we're here praying. We lift up every idea, every strategy and tactic the church has come up with. We lay them all at your feet. Your ways are higher than our ways. Your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Thank you for showing the listener and all those decision makers what to do, what to change, what to start doing, and stop doing that will lead to growth, growth from heaven itself. Hallelujah. We speak increase over the church now. We decree and declare that The body of believers in this church would speak the same thing and be of one mind and heart. We loose unity over this church now. Glory. In Jesus' name, we declare that there's no division and that they are perfectly joined together of the same mind. We lift up the word being preached there. You said in your word that you will confirm the word when it is preached properly and thoroughly. Show those who preach, teach, and lead fellow believers at this church revelation and understanding of the scriptures like never before. May they speak with boldness the word of God. Hallelujah. We decree and declare that sound, biblically-based doctrine is abundant and is fruitful from the pulpit and any other place, Father, in which it is preached from and through this church. Yes, we decree and declare that the people who attend this church will not be children tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. No, Father, they will stay with your word. They will follow your voice, for they know you. They will not follow the voice of a stranger. Praise you. Father, we lift up the pastors, the bishops, the deacons, all the leaders of this church, any and all titles they may be called. Lord, please guide them with regard to what to preach and teach. Father, may their words be your words. May they speak only what you want them to speak in Jesus' name. We praise you that as the word goes forth in this church, mighty signs and wonders will follow confirming your word. Praise you. From the north, the south, the east, and the west, we call in the people who should be attending this church. In Jesus' name, angels go forth and lead them home. Those people, God, who are searching for a church to call home, those who may have been a part of this church and left, Father, but you know they're to be there, we call them back in Jesus' name. We exalt you, Father, that the church has members in abundance in all manner of committed people for every manner of work that you require be done through the church. Praise you. We declare that each department of the church operates in the excellence, Father, of ministry that you've called them to operate in. Yes, Lord, they carry themselves as they should in Jesus' name. We lift up any and all ministry staff. We thank you for them and call them all blessed abundantly. Lord, you're watching over them, and we are confident that they are in your care. We call all their needs met in Jesus' name. By your grace, we ask you to help all people involved in the ministries that come from this church to be well-balanced of a sober mind, that they would all have a level head, Father, knowing whom they serve, and that they, everything that they would do, Father, would be done in love. Father, please help this church overall to only submit to your will, your plans, and your purposes. We decree and declare that this church 
is spiritually and mentally alert in Jesus' name. We call this church led by the Holy Spirit. They are discerning to your instructions and directions. Father, we thank you for your rich presence. Your presence is refreshing. In your presence is fullness of joy. In your presence is your anointing. Praise you. We thank you for your anointing, Father, saturating every area of this church and any outreaches in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood over this church and all its leadership and all its members. We declare protection over them all. We also, Father, want to thank you for your angelic protection. We thank you that you've commanded angels to watch over this church. We lift up all the property or properties used to run this church. We declare that all the needs required to keep these facilities open and running effectively and profitably come in in Jesus' name. From the north, the south, the east, and the west, angels bring in the supply. We declare that this church is prospering and that they have more than enough to meet every need. We declare that, that they have everything, Father, that they need to carry out your assignments and reach those around them. You are awesome, Father. We declare that this church reputation be repaired and restored if it has been degraded. In Jesus' name, we call it restored and prospered. We declare in Jesus' name increased attendance and giving so that the church can reach more people, Father, than before with the full gospel. We thank you, Father, for the creativity that is evident in the different areas of the church. We declare new ideas and new services, Father, new concepts, Father, that come through your Spirit. Lord, we pray that spiritual leaders will come alive to a fresh passion and fire for you from this church. We pray and declare that this church would draw closer to you like never before, Father, that they would pursue fellowshipping with you above all else like never before, that they would just soak in your presence, Father that they would lean entirely on you like never before. Our God and King, we decree and declare that this church is learning to walk in love in the power of the Holy Spirit more and more. Fresh and new right now, we declare that the listener and the church on their heart begins today, God, to explode in waves of awakening that will bring consistent life, Father, to any area of their life that is lifeless in Jesus' name. We declare that the church abounds in and is filled with the fruits of righteousness. Father, this is a fruitful church. We declare that your glory is manifested and recognized in and through them all that attend the church, God, and that lead the church. We loose that spirit of unity, God, amongst the believers, and we thank you, Father, for it. We thank you, Father, that, that this church is standing firm and united in spirit and purpose, driving side by side and contending with a single mind for the faith of the glad tidings of the gospel. Together in prayer right now, Father, we are convinced and insured of this. We're assured of this very thing, Father, that you who have begun a good work in this church will continue until the day of Jesus Christ. You are bringing it to full completion. And Lord, your church is blessed. This church that's on the listener's heart is blessed and growing in numbers daily in Jesus' name to your glory. We believe everything we've prayed and declared and give you glory in advance for this prayer is answered. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.